Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a quick carne con papa recipe. Uh, very Cuban, obviously, but other people have different culture. Other cultures have different names to it, but ours is super simple, super easy to do. It's probably gonna be different from the one I have on YouTube because a lot of the ingredients I don't have right now, so I work with whatever I have usually. Um, you're gonna first thing you're gonna do is obviously put your pot on saute mode. Wait till that says hot, and you're gonna put some olive oil in there. And once your instant pot says hot, we're gonna go ahead and do our sofrito portion. The sofrito portion is um, olive oil, one red pepper chopped, and a small onion chopped. And once you dice, once you cook it a little for three, four minutes, you know, constantly stirring, you're gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of minced garlic for one minute, and you get a total of five minutes of doing the sofrito. Okay? Sorry, I'm talking so fast. All right, guys, my instant pot says hot. I'm gonna go ahead and add my peppers and my onions chopped. I'm gonna start sauteing that for about two to three minutes. And once you see that the onions start getting translucent, you can go ahead and add uh, one tablespoon of garlic mince. All right, now that my onions are translucent, I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, one tablespoon of garlic minced or uh, four to six garlic cloves chopped. Oh shit, I almost spilled this. Okay. Blue, Haley. You go ahead and give the garlic and the onions and pepper a good mix and let that cook for another two minutes. You'll start to smell that smell. You know what I'm talking about. That Cuban sofrito smell. If you're Cuban, you know what I'm talking about. This is like the base to every Cuban recipe there is. Sofrito. Whether you're working with chicken or beef or seafood, sofrito, guys usually the same thing peppers onions salt garlic and olive oil so if you need to deglaze your pot you can do so now with a half cup of um no cooking with a half cup of uh cooking wine a vino seco um i do not need to deglaze because i use enough enough olive oil so that didn't uh get any burnt spots on the bottom so i'm just going to go straight into the next uh, part so I'm gonna go ahead and add my beef. I have two pounds of chunk uh, beef stew. Give that all a good mix. A teaspoon of salt. So you're gonna sprinkle that with a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I always do. But it just depends on how salty you like your food. And I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of cumino. Cuban, which does not fit in here. Just sprinkle that. That I don't go over. I usually, usually, uh, usually more than likely always just use a teaspoon. Give that a good mix. Hold on, mama. Next, we're gonna add a eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Give that a good mix. <laughs> I'm understanding she's saying a lot of other stuff. All right, once you mix that around, you're gonna add half a cup of cooking wine if you didn't do so before to deglaze. I did not do so, and I just ran out, so I need to get more. I think I have more. And then we're also gonna do half a cup of beef broth. If you don't have beef broth, uh, water will work as well. Now's when it should be the, the mixing should be a lot easier because it's wet and it's liquidy. So go ahead and give that one last good mix. We're gonna toss in the potatoes on top. I have the little uh, golden potatoes. I'm adding six of them. You could chop that in half for more volume. I like to keep them whole. Just for whatever. No, mommy, I'll wait up see yeah. All right, guys, you're all done. You're gonna go ahead and put your uh, close your pot. I kill me while I just opened my child. Mira, te están mirando la gente live y tú andas llorando. Mira, I'm sorry. You're gonna go ahead and close your pot, put your vent to seal, and you're gonna click cancel to get it off saute mode. And you're gonna click the meat stew button. Now the meat stew button is gonna give you normally 45 minutes, and that's too much. 
So you're gonna go all the way down and put it to 25 minutes. You're gonna put it to 25 minutes and let it do a natural release, which means don't touch it, let it release on its own for 10 minutes. So it's about 35 minutes cook time. It will cook, cook. It will cook, coño. It will cook sooner than that. Um, I've done it for 15 minutes and it's cooked fast. The problem is I liked for that beef really to get soaked in all that sauce and the mojo and um, the sofrito. So I always leave it in for a little bit longer. And the longer it is, the more tender the beef is. So um, stay tuned for the final product, guys. Okay, toodaloo. All right, guys, my Instant Pot beeped. I went ahead and I let out all the pressure. There wasn't any because it's already been sitting for 12 minutes. I'm gonna pop it open and check it out. What? Yummy carne con papa. Smells great. If you wanna go ahead and give it a taste now and see if it needs a little bit more salt, you can go ahead and do so. Um, but it should be good. Have a good one, guys. Hope you enjoy it.